In order to get the fuel to go back to Earth, Dr. J summoned General Spear to go to the safety zone to capture Lord Doomsday's troops and get the crystals. Magic Eye and the kids went as well. However, to make himself appear brave, Jerry wanted to go off alone to dig for crystals. He secretly left the other children and was captured by Lord Doomsday's men. In order to look for Jerry, General Spear decided to leave the safety zone by himself. However, awaiting him are endless dangers. Meanwhile, Dr. J decided to bring Magic Eye and the kids who had returned safely to a mysterious sacred area, which used to be Professor Eye's laboratory. There they went in search of Professor Eye's legacy, the core of the energy source. But the robot guardian of the laboratory that Dr. J had mentioned to the children prevented them from going any further. Please continue to watch Magic Eye Adventure. Episode 9! Huh? Susan, are you all right? Magic, Magic Eye! Susan, Susan, are, Susan you are you all right? General Manic, rise up! You won't be going back. <laughs> I only came to check on our troops. I never thought I'd get to go with you. Looks like my troops did well. Don't be afraid, stay behind me. I can't run anymore. Everyone get out. Wow, he's blocking us. <laughs> Yeah, that's strange. Brandon, what did you say just now? I said oh, I want to go home. That's right, you got it. Going home was my teacher's dream. Could going home be the command that stops the robot guard? Mm. Who knew that you'd be so useful, Brandon? <laughs> <laughs> Thundering Double Spear! 
What, what is this? Why did they have such power? Mm. Ah. Yeah, darn it! Continue yourself, Lucky! <sighs> General Manic, I'm sure you brought me some good news, correct? My lord. What's wrong? I... You're not going to tell me you failed, are you? I almost succeeded, my lord. That just means you failed. It was the captain's fault, not mine. You can go now. Thank you, oh great lord. As soon as the energy extraction device is ready, you can test it. Yes. General Spear, you will pay the price for constantly meddling in my affairs. Why do I suddenly have this strange feeling? I feel as if Dr. J is in a very important place right now. Why? Why is this feeling getting stronger and stronger? I never thought I'd be able to stand in here. You see, I vowed never to come in here before I had fulfilled my teacher's wishes and goals. <laughs> inside that thing. Huh? Open it and take a look. My lord! My lord! What is it? I have news! The energy extraction machine is ready! Bring the device up here. Come! Are you certain? Yes. If this fails, you know what fate awaits you, don't you? Yes, my lord, we know. Where is the test subject? Uh, uh, you can uh, be the test subject then. Uh, uh, General Manic, put him in the device right away. Yes. Uh, Hurry up! Yes, yes. Hurry, <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> go see if the experiment has worked. It failed! Oh no, my lord. It's because the energy of the device is more powerful than the test subject. It can't extract anything. That's why it failed. If we can find a test subject whose power is greater than the device, it will definitely work. Is that so? I would never lie to you. Then let's find another test subject. Hmm. <clears throat> General Manic, you have sworn to obey me, correct? I am your faithful servant, my lord. Fine, then. I will give you a chance to prove it to me. M my lord? I want you to be the new test subject for the energy extraction device. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> What's that, Dr. J? It doesn't look very useful. Is it a key? What kind of key looks like that? I've seen lots of movies where the door to a treasure room has a specially shaped carving in it. If you put the corresponding shaped key in the carving, you can open the door. Oh, please, Mary, stop talking nonsense. I think it's probably a treasure box. If we open it, we'll be able to find the energy source. The problem is, how do we get it open now? Maybe we need a special password. Like, open Sesame or something. Huh? But that could be anything. Come on, if we try everything, we'll get it eventually. Am I right, Magic Guy? Magic Guy? Magic guy! Huh? Uh, what was that? Come on, pay attention! This will affect how we get home! I was thinking, Doctor, did your teacher leave anything else for you? Something else? Afraid not. Doctor, please think carefully. Doctor, I brought Jerry back to Homeworld. Was he injured? Nope, nope! <laughs> I'm just great! You idiot, always dragging us down! What, me? Oh, come on! If you hadn't snuck off, General Spear wouldn't have had to track you down and save you. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, okay, everyone's fine, so no need to blame Jerry. Oh no! General Spear was injured! It's nothing, just a scratch. I'll be fine after I'm repaired. What? Let me take a look. I think there's something inside. It looks like a hexagon. You know that General Spear was created by my teacher? Perhaps your teacher might have hit the energy core inside General Spear's body. Quick, let's open it up and find out! Mm -hmm. Mm 
<sighs> it's true. That's great. Doctor, quick, take out the energy core from my body. Yay, we can go home! <laughs> but we don't know what it'll do to General Spear if we take the energy core out. Magic Eye is correct. The energy core might be similar to General Spear's energy crystal. If we would remove it... General Spear would die. So what do we do? Mary, I don't think we'll ever get home. We can't kill General Spear. It's all right. It's only a possibility. We should try it anyway. No way. It's too dangerous. But if we don't, you might never get home. I it's all right. If we can't go home, then we won't go home. Being here is nice too. Let me think about it. There might be another way for you. I was so sure that we were going to get home this time, guys. Who knew this? Dr. J already said that he would try and think of another way, so I'm sure he will. We have to believe in him. Thinking, thinking, and more thinking. Who knows how long that will take? I don't think we'll ever get home. I don't think so either. Well, oh. Come on, don't be so negative and down, guys. We should be positive. We might be able to find the fuel and the 10 energy crystals, too. Yes, but without the energy core, all that is useless. I'm sure we'll be able to find the energy core. I'm sure of it. But we can't. Dr. J said that there's only one energy core. It's inside General Spear's body. You mean you want to sacrifice General Spear? <sighs> Have you seen General Spear? Uh, no, sorry. He didn't come in here. Has something happened, Doctor? General Spear is gone. Oh, but General Spear can't disappear. He has the energy core inside of him. Energy core? Oh, no. Uh. Guys, let's go with him. Uh -huh. You failed again? Uh -huh. mm. <laughs> Fools, stay where you are. <laughs> General Manic. General Spear, are you all right? General Spear, you... General Spear! <laughs> General Spear! Huh? Oh no! General Spear isn't moving! General Spear! What happened to him? General Spear must have tried to take the energy core out and now... General Spear did this for us. Oh, wow, so this is the energy core. Wow, it's so pretty. <gasps> Jerry, what are you doing? Oh, hey, look, I think he's moving. <gasps> General Spear, you all right? <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, everyone, move away! <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. General Spear has gone mad. But what about you? I have to shut the laboratory door. 
Don't worry about me. Go! I have to help. You guys go. Hurry up! No! We have to stick together! This is General Spear. He might have gone crazy, but he won't hurt us, Lena. General Spear, it's me, Jerry, your good friend. Listen to me. Please don't hurt Dr. J, okay? No, Jerry. What are you doing? General Spear and I are really good friends. He won't hurt me. <laughs> Careful, Jerry! Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> The energy core! Huh? Uh. Be careful of General Spear! Do. Look for the switch, guys. Come on, go! What should we do? I don't know. The General Spear use up all his energy. When he's out of power, we'll be okay. But can't we just open the door? We can't. General Spear is so crazy right now that we can't risk letting him get out. He might be a danger to all the people of Homeworld. Careful! Uh, Well then, what has happened to General Maddox? My lord, General Maddox's internal system has changed. His power has increased. What? <clears throat> my lord, I feel as though my body is filled with power. I'm stronger than before. Oh, well then, General Maddox, I command you to go destroy Homeworld. Lena, have you found the switch yet? Uh, huh? No, we haven't. Magic Guy is unconscious. What? what? Uh, hey, I found it. Magic Guy, uh, wake up now. Oh, Dr. J, save Magic Guy. <laughs> Let me see. Oh no, we have to run! Magic Eye, how can we stop General Spear? I'm thinking. Where's, Where's your, your powers, powers working, working yet? yet? I don't know, okay? But it's not anyone's fault that they're just not working. Well, of course it's your fault, Magic Guy. I'll distract him. You kids leave uh, this room. But what about you, Doctor? Hey, now. <laughs> Be careful, Dr. J! Doctor! <laughs> General Spear! Stop out of it on Dr. J! Ice cream's round, ice cream's sweet, ice cream becomes magic ice feet! Here. Don't worry, he's only unconscious. After the experiment, General Manic did not die. In fact, he evolved and became even stronger. He easily defeated the robot guards and infiltrated Homeworld's inner sanctum. At the same time, General Spear is undergoing urgent repairs to his fighting system. And as General Manic's abilities have increased, no one can defeat him. In order to protect home world, Dr. J has no choice but to defend himself, but to no avail as he is no match for General Manic. At this critical moment which will determine whether Dr. J lives or dies, General Spear is the only robot who can defend home world. In order to save everyone, he puts his repairs on hold and engages in yet another battle with General Manic. Who will win and who will lose in the ultimate epic battle? What is the fate of Homeworld? Please tune in to Magic Eye Adventure, Episode 10.